Welcome back to another episode of Defense Update in 10 Slide Info. This video will provide a vital update regarding the short-range unmanned aerial vehicle weaponized, or Archer Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle, which is one of the most awaited drones. During the 8th Aerospace and Defense Manufacturing Show, held in Bangalore from October 26 to 27, an ADE official revealed significant updates regarding the development and testing of their Archer Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle. The update which we received regarding the short-range unmanned aerial vehicle weaponized is the confidence in completing the initial weaponized flight testing phase by June 2024. The short-range unmanned aerial vehicle weaponized or Archer is based on the Aeronautical Development Establishment's Rustam-1 Tactical Unmanned Aerial Vehicle. Initial development of the Rustam-1 started in 2009 for the intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance role. Later, the drone was remodified to carry out armed missions and was named as Archer. Through a series of tests conducted by Aeronautical Development Establishment, Archer has consistently reached altitudes of 20,000 feet, even though they are supposed to operate at an altitude of 22,000 feet. Currently, the relevant team is evaluating Archer's ability to carry various payloads like anti-tank guided missiles and anti-personnel missiles. According to few defense sources, these Archer drones will be able to carry the Helena anti-tank missile and also the Barrett Dynamics Limited's man-portable anti-tank guided missile. Here are some of the summarized key features of the Archer unmanned aerial vehicle. The Archer is based on the Rustam-1 short-range tactical surveillance vehicle. It has a wingspan of 14 meters and a length of 6 meters. This unmanned combat vehicle is powered by a single turboprop engine. It has top speed of 250 kilometers per hour and a range of 1,000 kilometers. This combat drone can carry a payload of up to 100 kilograms. The short-range unmanned aerial vehicle weaponized is currently undergoing weapons trials and the same is expected to be completed by 2025 tentatively. So, that was a small video to provide vital updates regarding the latest happening with the DRDO's short-range unmanned aerial vehicle weaponized or Archer Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos on the latest defense news and analysis. Thank you.